I'd like to give you a tour of the DS Photo Station. Basically, it's a photo station that's hooked up to my Synology server that provides free um, storage for your photos. So the question I ask myself is how long am I going to have to go before I have to start paying for iCloud, Google Cloud, Amazon Cloud? And this is a solution I came up with so I don't have to pay for those services and I just use my existing equipment. If you have any of those services and you're free right now, you'll find that as you accumulate more photos and more storage that you will end up for their paid service. So this is a solution with DS Photo. This is a continuation of my um, Synology disk station and the applications that it provides to both iPhone and Android. This is DS Photo. What DS Photo is, is it's basically um, a storing device that you can upload your albums to your disk station and have your own personal cloud instead of using Google or your iCloud. For an example, this is what the app looks like <clears throat> and this is all working over the internet and bringing my images to me live so anything I upload to my server is automatically on my phone anything from my phone to my server vice versa so as you can see there these are all the pictures if you go into the picture then it even has things that you can do such as a slideshow and have the slideshow play um, and you can change the settings to have it have different intervals and different times that it displays um, <clears throat> and I, you could ultimately connect it up to a, an HDTV and play your slideshow through there if that's what you wanted to do. So those are the options that you have in, in each of the pictures. You can share it, you can have the photo info, you can download it to your phone because this is coming over the internet, you can make comments on it, delete it, and like I said, here's your settings and your logout. So th these are your settings that you can come into and change and manipulate according to your liking. So that's just a quick rundown and it's pretty much the same on every device. It's the same on the iPhone, on the iPad, and all you do to create a new album and upload your photos is say create new album, you give it a title, say for example uh, slideshow Push OK. So now it creates a new album to where you can upload your pictures to it. So then you scroll down to that new album that we just created, Slideshow. And this is where you can add your pictures. Upload. And this is where you add your pictures from your camera, from your uh, phone gallery, from your phone videos. You can take a photo, record a video. So if you, if you already have one stored on your phone that you'd like to upload, then you come into here, and you can upload this, you can upload this, and you just tap on the ones that you want to upload, click upload, and now it'll do the task. So it starts the upload, and um, once it's done, so now it says that it uploaded the file successfully and you give it maybe a minute or two for it to refresh and then you'll have all of your stuff inside that new folder that you just created. And there the disk station has just given us uh, thumbnails so it's just finishing the, the process of creating thumbnails and you should see it live within a couple of seconds. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. If you subscribe up above, you'll see more videos come out from me of more ways on how you can save on your monthly expenses through technology. And if you look at my other videos that I've already posted, you'll see that I've already done some on phone and TV. Thanks. Subscribe. Give me feedback. Have a great day.